Welcome to the Rusted Garden. Today we're going to talk about growing mushrooms indoors. These mushrooms are from the North Spore Mushroom Company. You can follow them on Instagram at North Spore Mushrooms. I have four types here. These are more difficult over here, the shiitake and the raishi mushrooms. I'm going to do separate videos on those. And the easier ones, the beginner mushrooms, are the oyster mushrooms and the lion's mane mushrooms. And the setup is really easy. When you purchase your mushrooms from North Spore, they're going to come in bags just like this. And all this white growth are the mycelium of the different varieties of mushrooms and they're well populated. These are sawdust blocks so when you make your purchase you're going to get a block of sawdust that's fully I think it's called inoculated with the mycelium spores all throughout here or the mycelium and that means that these mushrooms are really ready to start producing. Now in order to get them to produce you need to give the oyster mushrooms and the lion's mane mushrooms oxygen. When they get oxygen they're going to pin and when they pin that really means it's baby mushrooms and once the pins start in anywhere from two to seven days you're going to get full oyster mushrooms or lion's mane mushrooms. So let me just show you. So this is what you're going to order from North Spore. It's going to come just like this. Whoa, almost dropped it. And what you're going to do is pull the flap down nice and tight and you're going to put it on its side. Now each of the different varieties come with their own set of instructions and right in the side you're going to cut a six inch slit, five to six inch slit along the side. Try not to disturb the mycelium that's growing along there. And you're going to put this in a place where you only get indirect sunlight. Basically you don't want direct sun coming on here. I'm going to put these in my basement. I have a glass door that lets in, you know, daylight, but nothing indirect. Now in about two weeks for the oyster mushrooms and two weeks for the lion mane, once you cut the slit, you're going to get the pinning of your baby mushrooms. And then anywhere from really, I think it's like two to five days, um, for the oyster mushrooms, you will get a full size oyster mushroom. They look like this. And then anywhere from four to seven days, you're going to get your lion's mane mushroom, which looks just like this. So once you put the slit in the bag, you're going to need to make sure that the moisture level stays fairly high. And what does that mean? Well, if you're in a very dry um, climate or your basement's really dry or you got the winter heat going, you're going to have to make sure you spray this at least once a day and you're going to be spraying the plastic. You don't need to spray in there. That'll keep moisture on there. I'm going to put a humidity bag on there and this bag I just happen to use for our shipping and different things, but you can go ahead and buy a uh, turkey bag and it will do the same process. The humidity bag of course is going to keep the humidity in. Now mushrooms give off CO2 so if they get too much CO2 in there they're going to stop growing they need oxygen so you want to cut a lot of holes in here. Half inch holes in a bag I have 12 I circled them so they could so it would be easy for you to see and then basically the bag will just sit over the mushrooms and it's light enough that you know anything growing will be able to push the bag around. Now what you want to do is once a day, take the bag off, spray it, and then just put the bag right back on. And that's all you really need to do. I like the use of the uh, humidity dome or the bag for moisture. Let me take this off and just show you how I set up that using the lion's mane. So you'll get this right from there's some oxygen in there or air in there so it'll come just like this from North Spore and then gently cut a slit in there. Try not to disturb Let's see if I can poke this try not to disturb the mycelium in there. So we have a five to six inch slit in there the air is going to come out, press it out the air and you're just going to let this sit on the side and again at least once a day come and spray the outside of the bag and if you do the humidity dome again it's going to be at least 12 holes and spray the inside of the bag once a day. That's plenty of moisture for the mushroom. Now the easiest way to put holes in a bag um, rather than trying to cut a perfect circle is what I did was I started here and I did one, two, three, four. I went up some, did one, two, three, four, and then went up again and did another four. So that's 12 
half inch holes in this bag. That's plenty of holes for the CO2 and oxygen to ex exchange so your mushroom will start pinning. And again, a pinning mushroom are basically your baby mushrooms. So all you do is start at one level, doesn't have to be perfect, flatten your bag, fold it over, and then just cut the tip off. And you'll get the hang of it to get about a half inch hole. You don't want to go really beyond a one inch hole. And there you've got a perfect hole in there. And you would just do four around this way, four around this way, four around this way. And you have a nice little humidity bag made. Most likely you'll be able to buy your turkey bags and do something like this. And again, spray it once a day, put the moisture in there, let it go. In two weeks, approximately, your lion's mane and your oyster mushrooms We'll set out pins and then I think it's, let's just see exactly, two to five days after they pin you'll get oyster mushrooms and four to seven days after they pin you'll get the lion's mane mushroom. So in about two weeks I'll show you the growth of these mushrooms and complete the video and I'm also going to do separate videos on the shiitake and the raishi so mushrooms. So I'll see you in two weeks to show you the pinning of the mushrooms and then a couple days after that again to show you the harvest of the mushrooms of the oyster mushrooms and the lion mane's mushrooms and I will do separate videos on the shiitake and the raishi. See you soon. It's been exactly seven days since I started the kits for the oyster mushrooms on the left and the lion's mane mushroom on the right. And these are the humidity domes made out of bags. You can use the turkey bags. And beneath there is a tray, my seed starting tray that I filled with water. I was gone for several days because of the holiday. I wanted to make sure that the humidity stayed there. So after seven days, the lion's mane has just a little bit of growth. I can see, it's hard to tell, but right where that dark spot is in the middle, I think a little bit of pinning has started. However, when you come right over here to the oysters, there you go, there's the focus. They're pinning beautifully, they're baby mushrooms. So seven days, this is the growth I have. There are pinned oyster mushrooms, pinning oyster mushrooms all over the place. So in about three to five days, these will be ready to harvest. They're going to get to full size, just like the picture on the block up there. But not bad. Seven days later, baby oyster mushrooms. It's been five days since the last part of the video. And these are the shiitakes. You can see all the pinning of the shiitake mushrooms. They're going to form into, of course, shiitake mushrooms but they're, grow they're growing really, really nicely. But here's the growth. Five days since I showed you the pinned oyster mushrooms and look at the development. Absolutely beautiful. So I'll probably harvest those today. The lion's mane mushrooms, they're pinning more. This is all filled in. It wasn't like that before. And there's some over there on the side. I did make one mistake. I reread the directions. I cut this five or six inches across like the oyster mushrooms. I was just supposed to put in a couple of one inch holes in there, but they look like they're doing fine. But five days after really pinning, the oyster mushrooms look absolutely magnificent. All right, well, this is the end of the video of growing the North Spore mushroom kits, and things worked out quite, quite, quite well. That is the lion's mane, that's ready to be harvested. And I just wanna recap some of the things that were effective. Number one, general lighting. This is the lighting. We're in my basement, there's some grow lights above there. You don't need a lot of light. Lion's mane did really well, did exactly what it's supposed to. The one behind that in the bag is actually the oyster mushrooms, which I already harvested, and I moved them into another bag and I'm just holding that and hopefully I'll get another spawn. Those are the shiitake mushrooms, and I went away for two days. The plastic bag actually fell off, and they started to dry, so I'm not gonna really be able to do a video for that in a separate video, but the shiitakes grew extremely well, and you know, no issue with them whatsoever. And our aishi mushroom in the back is a different mushroom. That takes uh, almost three weeks for it to start to grow, and you don't cut any slits into it, but the uh, shiitakes you actually take out of the bag, 
the oyster mushrooms and the lion's mane you just cut slits into it. I'm going to have to harvest this. Some other uh, tips is underneath there is my seed starting tray. I put water in there. That's just to let any kind of, um, well that's not any kind, it's to let water vapor kind of evaporate up when I have those bags on top. And I highly recommend that you put a um, humidity bag over it, which is basically a turkey bag like I've been talking about. You just put it over it, cut the holes in as I showed you, spray it one or two times every day, and that will keep the moisture in. The mushrooms will dry out really quickly, especially, you know, in January when I'm shooting this, I got the heat on. But really successful, highly recommend Northern Spore Mushroom Company. You will be successful using their kits.